You're very welcome back. Now, up next, we're welcoming a very talented dancing duo. Oh, yes. These brothers are five-time world champions with over 350 million views on social media. And now they're bringing their love of Irish dance to the world as social media influencers. Before we chat to them, let's take a quick look at them in action. Michael and Matthew, welcome! <laughs> Thanks for having us so much. He started talking about Galway. Galway it was, connections. It was a, Leisureland? Oh, yeah. Leisureland? Yeah, yeah. Ronnie's ears perking up. I love it. Guys, welcome back to the show. Delighted so to have much. you again. Uh, I'm buzzing for this performance later, but even before that, let's talk about this just pure raw talent and grow for Irish dancing. Where did it come from? Well, to be honest, we, we started uh, in America. We started dancing in America. And it was mainly from our two parents, who are both Irish, and they were living in America. They wanted their kids to have some, some of the Irish culture growing up. It was hugely important to them, as it is to us now. Um, so our sister, Anna, who should get all the credit for getting us involved, she went to her first dance class. And then I kind of was going to the classes, just as you do as a young kid. I was about four years old, and I loved the look of it. Um, so I started dancing at four, and then I think by the time Matthew came along, he there just thought it was there. part of yeah, everyday life. I, I just didn't have a choice, really. I mean, <laughs> I, I was just thrown into it. Yeah. Uh, Mom and Dad and Anna and Michael just tossed yeah. me into it. Uh, I just followed in their footsteps. Doing it, so you have yeah, to do. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So it was no just choice. part of life. But I mean, we never looked back. We loved it. Yeah. Yeah. You certainly didn't. I saw a trophy there that was the same size as yourself. I know. Yeah. Just a little bit bigger than Matthew. <laughs> That's a famous photo in our household. Yeah. <laughs> But then you, I mean, it started great, but then it, it kept building and you both ended up winning world titles in your respective age groups because there is an age difference, even though yes. you're so similar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> At the same competition, that's an incredible feat. Crazy. Thank you, yeah. yeah. Thank you I mean, much. that was a very special one. Our, yeah. The world championship that we won in the same year in Montreal and Canada was, we always had a dream to win the world championships, yeah. but to do it in, at the same year was just very special. Yeah, yeah always a dream. What was the, I can, can you imagine the jealousy? <laughs> <laughs> like the begrudgery behind oh, the scenes. <laughs> Between us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shaking fist. Yeah. I love it. Those gardeners, go home. The gardeners. <laughs> go home, gardeners. Yeah. Um, you both recently headed back to Denver for a very special performance. Yes. River Dance, it's 20 for, 25th anniversary tour, I should say. Yeah. What was that like, bringing your parents and having them see you perform it must have been kind of full circle emotional uh, i would imagine huge yeah i mean so that's where we first saw the show all those years ago i mean it was it's nearly 25 years since we saw the show and we can remember we can literally remember this the side of the theater we were in when we were watching the show and uh it was hugely emotional for both of us yeah. and we we flew mom and dad out um to see us both perform there because it was just such an incredible moment both of us are principal dancers now um and again like that was such a, a special moment for us to to kind of be up on that stage with mom and dad out there watching us kind of where we started yeah and yeah where it I all mean, started our whole so. dancing career kind of at that moment came to that came to that moment yeah it was kind of a pinnacle and there side stage just before we jumped out for that main part i think both of us kind of the emotions came to us then I yeah imagine. i had to wipe but, away a tear i think before we went yeah out. but i mean incredible really yeah. to have mom and dad was just Amazing. Yeah. That is lovely. Such an achievement. Yeah, yeah. amazingly lovely. proud of you. Of course, apart from the actual stage and the adulation of the huge audiences, you have an eye-watering amount of millions of people following you on social media. I, I can't even get, get over the amount of fans you have around the world. And it all started almost by accident in 2011. Yeah, it was kind of incredible, really. We, we were performing at a, um, at a wedding in Galway and... Uh, an American woman um, who we're friends with now, actually yeah. still to this day, she posted the video just kind of saying like, we'd love to know the name of these boys, who are they? And, and it kind of got around to us and it ended up being the Gardner Brothers doing Smooth Criminal all the way back in 2011, I think, yeah, I think is what you said. Um, 
And that one was kind of the first main video on, on the internet of yeah. us. And uh, we started posting the odd time here and there. Then after that, like we had our Garden Brother page for a few years, but then it really kind of kicked off during the pandemic. Uh, and again, like we kind of never looked back once we started posting on during the pandemic. That was what I was going to say to you while we were at the break. I was down in Leisureland and going walking the dogs one yeah. night. Oh, yeah. And these two lads are dancing on a board. <laughs> and I stood there like, like for 10 minutes yeah. watching you yeah. and you were filming it. I was like, they're really good. Oh. They should do something. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Meanwhile, on TikTok, 2.8 million. Exactly. Like, like, like crazy, crazy. Thanks very much. Crazy. Uh, on social media, you've done a lot of incredible collaborations with other dancers across yes. various styles. Any particular collabs stick out to you as your favorites? Yeah. I think it has to be, uh, there's a guy in LA that was called Slavic. Yeah, uh, he yeah. was a huge inspiration for us and still is. He is incredible, like, yeah. There uh, you are, now. yeah, we were watching this before we came yeah. on air. Right in the middle, do, doing our basic step together. He had to teach us the cha-cha slide for that, but yeah. uh, we, we taught we, him some tap, uh, or Irish some dancing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But um, he was, he was really like, cool to work with. Yeah. Um, he's definitely one of our favorites. And I think another one was Matthew Forget as well. He was the yeah. first guy we really collabed with. He was from France. And he's a he's a photographer, he's a dancer, he's a he's a bit of everything. There he is now. Yes, this is Matthew and, here um, now, yeah. It was it was so much fun working with him. And it kind of did really work out exactly how this happened. We were filming and he came to Dublin and he was like, geez, can we do something together? So it was nice and quick, but we were able to get this pretty cool photo here at the end. Um, it was so much fun. Just such talent. Like, wait for the photo now. Yeah, oh. photo is incredible. Oh. Incredible. <laughs> so this is what they were at in Legoland that night. <laughs> and you were walking the dog. Oh, like, I could right. have. I could have jumped in. You should have. You should have. Next, next time. time. Next, time. Yeah. next time. I know you can do it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Do it now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So is it a lot of work? I mean, these collaborations are incredible, and that this is a moment in time. But, but, and obviously you're dancing with different styles of music, but how do you keep it fresh? How do you keep it inventive? Well, yeah. honestly, it's, it's part of like what keeps it so fresh for us is like we love being creative and, and you know, trying to be as original as possible to, to these different musics. So like Matthew and I have such a, we love all different styles of music. So Matthew might come to me with a rap song someday and be like, wouldn't this little part here, there's a cool rhythm there, so let's try something like yeah. that. And then it kind of builds an idea and then I hear like a Disney song, uh, Arabian Nights, and I'm like, oh, that bit was really cool. And yeah. so we have all those different things, but it's, it, it helps us, like all the different styles of music are, are very inspiring. But I think what's important for us as well is to showcase that Irish culture to all these kind of popular things, yeah, I think this popular music, to bring it to new audiences and different audiences all around the world. Mm. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it's the variety that keeps it fresh. Yeah. Because yeah. we love the traditional Irish music and we oh want to keep God, hold yeah. of that as well. Naturally. And keep showing that and keep, pushing that across the world. Yeah. Um, but it's like we're reaching out to different audiences with yeah. the, the pop music and that kind of stuff. Yeah, so. pairing our Irish dancing with Eminem yeah. or Ed Sheeran or, you know, whoever. We wanted next. to show how, how modern and versatile the yeah. Irish dancing can be now as well, so. It's amazing for us, you know, like I'm, I'm sure you probably did lessons at school. We, uh, we all did it. Yeah. But, and, and all you were thinking of is Shoe the Donkey and, Shoe you know, the all these Irish music tunes that are great but then when you see yeah, it yeah. paired like that mm. it just makes you look at it in a completely different way oh yeah. of course yeah and, and it may, it's made us look at it in a different way as well and you know luckily enough we we uh, learned from the best in the business at the hessian school and um celine and Gemma and d and, and all those teachers they kind of helped us uh to be creative and to push those boundaries to say like oh you know smooth criminal michael jackson why don't you dance that or yeah. chuck berry like we're gonna, going to in a few minutes um johnny be good but it's all those different things that's kind of helped us, you know, grow the gra for Irish dancing, I suppose. They're great lads. They got the, the plug in for Celine. <laughs> <laughs> you can go home to Galway. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. Such a pleasure to chat to you. Oh, if people want you. to find out more, it's gardnerbrothers.ie and obviously same name on every social media platform. Yep. If you want to see more dancing. Yes. Gardner Brothers, yep. thank you so They're much. Everywhere. Thank you so much Thank you. Thanks, so guys. Awesome.